Well, this is a cipher surprise. And I'll explain why, ladies and gentlemen. By the, by the title of this video that you're looking at right now. What do you see here? Well, if you were ch checking on the What's Happening Twitter tab, the What's Happening Trending tab, Paul Pierce, hashtag Paul Pierce was trending, and it was for exactly this. Michael McCarthy, who is a senior writer at the front office sports. Dot com has tweeted that ESPN and NBA legend Paul Pierce have parted ways, according to sources. Paul Pierce posted videos of himself with exotic dancers on Instagram with live on Friday night, which is this one right here. From a tweet from Purple Tornado 2. And it shows these two sexy black dancers. And apparently they just fired him for this. But given the fact that ESPN is owned by Disney, it was kind of a, a strange, but more importantly, a A very, very, very dumb way to fire someone over. But I think this thread creep like has continued. Michael McCarthy says Paul Pierce was making an estimated 1.5 million annually from ESPN from for his on-air gig as an NBA analyst on NBA Countdown and and the Jump. Said a source, Pierce named the truth pocketed 195 million over his 19-season NBA career. And it's just <laughs> why it's just like why I mean some of these tweets are are acceptable because people are angry They fired Paul Pierce because he's black and he wants to dance the strippers at his own place. So I know how ESPN could just decide to fire Paul Pierce for live streaming at his own house while having a little party with the strippers. They're going to push this, destroy the masculine image, but turn around and want backlash. What Cardi B and Megan did, they not trying to make me feel like it's something wrong with being heterosexual. I live being a man, not just in theory. 
Amen to that. ESPN is whack. This man was on his day off enjoying his private life. People have to start accepting that your career slash job isn't the only part of life. Americans live, breathe, sleep, thinking of work. So fuck that. Yes, Tro's has got the right has got the right idea. I mean, come on, fuck that. I don't know why ESPN had to do that. It's it's just so stupid. So stupid of what's happening here. It's. I mean, come on. I don't see anything wrong with some of these pictures. Yeah, people have screenshotted after seeing it. I don't see anything wrong with live it here, but the fact that ESPN had to go out of the way and do the unthinkable really shows how incapable anyone in the news industry or in the sports industry, as a matter of fact. Can like hire like hire somebody for a job that they obviously want to keep and not have their corporate workplace spy on them over a, a pretty sexual party with alcohol and girls or women in order for him to be fired over something that he is doing privately at home. Should he have done it live on Instagram? Probably not, but that is his choice, and ESPN, the sports network, should not have to fire him. You know, looking back at it now, I kind of miss the days when when, like, the Walt Disney Television Corporation, I think they're called, didn't have to buy ESPN. I kind of miss those days. I really do. Thank all my supporters. Want to thank my haters and everything. Look, check it out. Bigger and better things coming, baby. Don't worry about it. You fall twice, you get up three times. You know, just always remember to smile, baby. See, Crystal, you're horrible on TV. Thank you, strippers for ESPN giving you the boot. Oh, fuck off, see, Drizzle. You don't even know Paul Pierce. Pop right off. Paul Pierce. Think big things coming soon. Stay tuned. Make sure you smile. Hashtag true truth shall set you free. Yeah, I hope that truth meaning would would be is that we get your job back. And ESPN don't have to stoop to their own level. Because they're owned by Disney for some fucking reason. Disney's becoming stricter than ever. I mean, some people are saying that Paul Pierce might probably sign with Fox Sports. I don't know if that's gonna happen. 
because there's no news report about it yet, but I'll be sure to look at that if that happens to be the case. Jake D. 243 says that Bar that Paul appears to be going to bar Bar's stool, as he predicts. But I don't even know if that is the case. I mean, I want Paul Pierce to actually reveal it himself instead of people like making predictions. But yeah, it's kind of disappointing that that the ESPN bosses had to fire him for doing something that he wants to do at his private life while while he's doing it live on his own Instagram account. I mean, it would have been different if he was doing that on, on the ESPN account and would actually get fired for that, but he wasn't. He was he was going live on his own Instagram account and ESPN did the most unthinkable thing by firing an NBA legend for having a day off party. Like, come on. ESPN, you guys gotta, you guys gotta, like, let people live their lives the way they should. I mean, this is just irresponsible in my opinion to fire ESPN. For God's sakes. It's kind of a uh, annoying to to make this video now, but I have to because ESPN would fire would now fire people over an Instagram live stripper party, and you know what? I bet things would never change if ESPN wasn't brought by the Walt Disney Television Company. Okay, so I guess ABC at the, back in the day owned ESPN and then was it was acquired by the Walt Disney Company in 1996 and to this day was rebranded as the Walt Disney Television so I guess ESPN already had had been owned by the Walt Disney Company now now rebranded as Walt Disney Television in 1996, but still, they should not fire the legend himself. Paul Pierce worked for PS ESPN, which is part of Disney Corporation. The one-time champion likely pissed off his bosses by going on Instagram Live with full of half-naked strippers. One of the best players in Boston Celtics history, Paul Pierce was smoking eager tobacco and weed and taking shots of the strippers for all the world to see. He also showed the strippers dancing in an NSFW manner. Since he technically works for Disney, Pierce could be in deep trouble for this video. The 10-time All-Star is an NBA analyst for ESPN. It's safe to say that the higher up to Disney don't want the image and video of one of their employees hanging out with strippers going viral since Disney products are mostly known for children's entertainment. Yeah, I can see why they would fight him for that now. But again, it is Paul Pierce's life. They don't need to spy on him to, to find out that he's doing something that is against the company's rules technically. I don't even know if it is, because I haven't checked any of their any of their workplace rules on their website because I I don't know I don't know where it is really. Naturally, Paul Pierce was a top of the 
MB Twitter on Saturday. However, in the surprise turn events, ESPN's Rachel Nichols somehow got thrown into the Pierce drama. I don't even know that is Rachel Nichols. I don't think it's her. Nichols is trending is now trending on MB Twitter, it appears. It's unfortunate because she has nothing to do with the situation it was mentioned in the video's comments. Well, I'm sure Rachel Nichols would respond to this. Paul Pierce and Rachel Nichols are both married with kids. Oh, are they? Huh. They work together well in the ESPN, but it's unclear if things will remain the same moving forward. Well, unfortunately, by the tweet that Paul Pierce made, <sighs> we're about to find out already by reading more war. Or we have already found out that he's been fired, which is <sighs> unacceptable in many places. A yeah, network organization like the Walt Disney Television Company would fire a great legend for doing his thing. The Paul Pierce Rachel Nichols situation is one to keep an eye on. Even though Pierce isn't at fault for one of his followers commenting on Nichols' name, it still wasn't a smart move for him to live stream his wild night. Yeah, I can I can again I can highly agree with that. But ESPN, mainly Disney, the Walt Disney Television, should not have these dodgy rules of what an employee can and cannot do. I mean, if if they were, if they had a rule that you cannot live stream at a private place with strippers having your own private party at your own private house with your social media account and then you know that's just messed up that's just messed up on Disney's part and ESPN's part like come on let the man live his life I hope he finds a new job as soon as possible Ridiculous.